Moving on to the demand and application of formic acid. Formic acid is widely used in rubber and leather industry as well as agriculture, textile, chemical and other industry. According to ICIS, formic acid has a global demand of 610,000 tons per year and Asia Pacific contribute around 188,000 tons per year as Asia Pacific is the largest natural rubber producer. According to Micro Market Capital, the Asia Pacific forming acid market has a compound annual growth rate of 5.8% from the year of 2013 to 2018, which also means that the demand of forming acid is always there. As for the demand and application of methanol, methanol is widely used as cleaner, antifreeze, fuel, and paint. According to IHS Market, Mitano has a global demand of 95 million metric tons per year and Asia Pacific region contribute around 66.5 million metric tons per year. According to Business Wire, Mitano has a compound annual growth rate of 10.7% from the year of 2016 to the year of 2021, this showing that the demand of Mitano is always there. Now we know that we need to produce formic acid from associated gas, but the question is how we do it. Nowadays, the most common process used in the industry is the oxidation method, which is adding oxygen to methanol to produce formaldehyde before producing formic acid. However, this method contains six side reaction that will reduce the production of formic acid. So instead of using oxidation method, our company uses the carbonation and hydrolysis method, which contains no side reaction at all. Furthermore, using this method, we can produce a side product methanol which can be one of source of income. With 70 tons per hour of associated gas, we are able to produce 21 tons per hour of 99% purity formic acid and 42 tons per hour of 90% purity methanol. Next, we would like to talk about the economic value of this business project, which is what investors are most concerned about. Firstly, the total fixed capital cost investment which is the one-time expenses on the purchase of FPSO, construction, service facilities and the equipments used in the production of goods to bring this project to a commercial operable status. The total fixed capital cost is 880 million USD. The pie chart shows the costing distribution on the equipment for the production of goods. Next will be the product cost. The product cost for the plant is 99.4 million USD per annum. The process material which is mainly the catalyst, is almost negligible as it only costs us 46,000 USD per annum. The utilities cost as for fuel and cooling water supply is 69.7 million USD per annum, which contributes 70% of the total cost. So how much can we make from this? Well, by selling methanol and forming acid at $250 and $850 per tonne, we can make up to $298 million per year at our production capacity. But Fluctuations in prices are inevitable. So how do we know if this is profitable or not? Well, we've made three scenarios where our selling prices deviate by 20% and made comparisons in terms of the net present values, internal rate of returns, return on investments, as well as the payback times. And we've labeled these three scenarios as our best, average, and worst case. As you can see, even in our worst case, our NPV remains a positive and the other parameters shows characteristics of a profitable project. 